Hello people, this is Teacher Calvin and welcome to another episode of Science I Can Do. And with our great tips, I'm sure science you can do too. Today, you're going to be watching a video conferencing lesson on the topic of respiratory systems. So sit back, relax and enjoy the lesson. The diagram shows the respiratory system of a fish. Fish absorb dissolved water, I mean dissolve oxygen from the water as the water passes through the gills. You see? Uh, look at what they say. They have many tiny hair structure covered by what? Large number of blood vessels. Okay, again? You have a lot of blood vessels to cover them. I understand or not? Because the blood goes by, they have exchange of gases. You can see or not? Yes? All right? Okay. So, fish absorb, okay? The dissolved oxygen from water as the water passes through the gills. How does having many hair-like structure help the fish to get more dissolved oxygen? This is related to the earlier question or not? No. Many hair-like structures. See? They what? Uh, Aaron, answer? Uh, so I repeat the answer to them. A tiny hair structure. Uh, speak louder, speak louder. The tiny hair structure will like trap the, trap the blood. No, or trap the water that has oxygen and the blood that is running through will break the oxygen in there. Mm. Okay. Yeah, hey, Aleron, you said something like that, uh, like, okay, they, you must, I must hear, but I don't hear the exposed surface area, okay? Hello? Okay? You have many hair-like structure, right? Right? The, the, okay, wait, huh? So here, uh, the hair-like, tiny hair-like structure, right? Okay? Like structures, S T R U C T U R E S, will what? Will increase the exposed surface area. Area what? To more what? To more water, right? You know. And therefore, okay, yeah, cannot. The can absorb more oxygen, eh? can absorb, maybe absorb, S O R B E D, more dissolves oxygen in the water. Get it or not? Hello? So even uh, people you do not know, I, I don't know, know, you know the small intestine. The small intestine is not a tube just like that, you know. Hello? It's not just a tube like this. Okay, can? Just a Inside the small intestine are people, there are many hair-like structure. Also, you understand or Okay, if you cut open the intestine and you uh, really split them open, you can see uh, it's not a smooth one. Inside, a lot of hair projection. Yeah? These are called, uh, you don't need to know it, but it's called oh, villi. Okay? Hair-like structure are called villi in the small intestine. Okay. The diagram shows the human, theory, human respiratory system. Uh, Andrea, answer? How does oxygen in the environment reach the blood vessels in the air sac? You understand what he's talking about? Oxygen in the environment reach the air sac. So the oxygen is in the environment. The how does the oxygen in the environment? Oxygen in the air? How you reach the blood vessels in the air sac from the environment? This is the environment. 
in the air. Mm. Ah, so how to answer? Wait, ah. Uh? Oxygen in the environment. Oxygen in the environment. Mm -hmm. Go to Essex. Um. Nothing much here to help you, except the picture. Okay. Uh, uh okay, got it. Um B is uh air enters the the air enters the lungs through the nose, oxygen transported through the the wind pipe into uh Essex is absorbed into the blood vessel. Okay, A enter through his nose because from the environment will go to the nose. Okay, right? And down the what is it called? Wind pipe. Wind pipe. Do you know wind pipe? Yeah. Okay, wind pipe. Okay, and into the lungs. Huh? Okay, now enter from the nose into the wind pipe, into the lungs, and to reach the blood vessels in the air cell. You know, I think the thorax enter to the lungs, uh, into the essex to reach the blood vessels. In the essex, they reach the blood, uh, and then the oxygen will diffuse into the blood vessels. Huh? Okay, okay, diffuse. You know, diffuse. Have you heard the word diffuse? No. One. Oh, then absorb into the bloodstream. I don't want to use diffuse. Okay, again. Okay? How they reach the blood? Okay, yeah. Okay. okay. Out there's oxygen, so you must in the environment, okay, okay? So, the uh, oxygen in the air, right? Right? In the air, enters through, G-H-R-O-U-G-H, through the nose, all right and down the wind pipe and finally into the essex essex right okay essex okay which are what Covered the blood, right? Which is then um, you don't really absorb, but you all don't know what refuse absorb A B S O R absorb, which then absorbed into the blood vessel. Okay, oxygen in the air from the environment, ma. enter to the nose and down the windpipe, and finally into the air sacs, which is then absorbed into the blood vessels. Okay, agree? People? Yeah. In, uh, of course, this is much more simpler. In, uh, in secondary, you need to say I'm diffuse, but this, is, you don't know, you haven't learned the thing called diffusion, so you, I think you can use absorb. Okay, people? Yeah, that's why it's a very different. Secondary signs from primary signs. Okay, again. Okay, back to Ruben then. Elrond has answered. Okay, yes. So Elrond did mention something like that, but we word it in a better, proper English for you. Okay, Elrond, huh? Yeah? Okay, based on the diagram, describe one similarity between the structure of the gills and the lungs. Hi. Right. Come on, miss. Based on the diagram, huh? Okay, you have a printed paper here. You tell me. Blood vessel, see, hey, see your blood vessels here. Similarities, see, the air sex is covered with blood vessels. See, yeah, yeah, see the keyword here blood vessels, many blood vessels. Can you see now? This one, see, large number of blood vessels. That's the similarity. Can you see? It's in the diagram, it's in the diagram. They didn't cheat you based on the diagram. Can you see now? This guy, large number, covered by large number of blood vessels. Can you see now? Right, can you see? 
Uh, of course, you have the full paper there. I've told you, I'm just toggling within up and down. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. He asked, can he say both of them is for respiration? Good. They're both for respiration, but can I see it based on the diagram? Oi. Can I see it based on the diagram? No. I don't know. Can you see it? Yeah, both uh, are uh, uh, the feeling is hot. The feeling is hot. Okay, something like that. Can I see hot there? I don't know. Can you see it? Based on the diagram. But the diagram did tell you both are covered with large number of blood vessels. Yes or not? So please, uh, based on the diagram. Uh, can I? Uh? Yeah? So if you don't base on the diagram, you can tell me like say sunrise from the east. Tomorrow, guarantee Monday, you need to go to school. You know what I mean? But it's not based on the diagram. Yeah? You know? Okay, Sam. Now you disrupted me. Can you give me the the, the answer? Oi. Both of them what? Both of them are covered by just copy the, the English there, right? Hey, large number of blood is in your paper for me i have only a small screen so it's not there okay yes b e s s vessels l e s four of them are club blood yeah that's the similarity yeah get it because that's where the gas exchange takes place they have to send a lot of blood vessels there okay yeah you puncture your heart you bleed i mean you puncture your lungs you bleed a lot of blood okay because they got extra blood vessels there. You know? Hello. Uh, uh, that's why, you see, the heart and lungs are so important to us. See, our body structure is designed to protect the heart and lungs. By what? By what? Skeletal system, the rib cage. Uh, you know? Yeah, see, our brains are so important, right? You see, that's why it protect. Can you know? And see, oh, a stomach, like, not protected, right? Sometimes you jab the stomach, <laughs> maybe you still can live, yeah, right? Can see, oh. can, can see, oh. not so prayer, but it's important, lah, you see, oh. but with the brain smash or the heart dump anything, oh, immediately die immediately. Can see, oh. hello, can see, oh. Yeah. oh, okay. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, do give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And for more great tips like this, be sure to watch Science I Can Do.